Hi guys, I'm Juan here at Up the Sun, where I bring your lifestyle and phantom realness. As you see from the title, we will be going over the Pink a la Mode Limited Edition Stained Glass Pins featuring the Disney Princes. Now, of course, the set isn't new. Many of you have already seen these pins before. However, I just exclusively got the Disney Princes and I would like to go ahead and share them in further detail with you. It is Pin November, by the way, so <laughs> hashtag Pin November. <laughs> Starting off right away with the first Disney prince that ever graced our screens, and that is Prince Florian. This is the Disney prince from Snow White, and these stained glass pins are just beautiful. I love the colors. He actually has like the same color scheme as Snow White going on there with the blue and the yellow and the red accents. His face is pretty good. I think they took some liberty with his face because Obviously, when he was in the film, it was the art style is a little dated. And they have the fleur de lis detail in the corner, and then they have these little, almost like a beaded detail along the side here. And the stained glass is yellow behind him. He looks great. So nice. What I love about these pins, like I was mentioning in my last video, that they are at least 25% made with recycled materials, so that's awesome. And these are Ellie of 300. I ended up getting these pins on an amazing deal. They were going on sale for 50% off. Pink All Mode one day just had a 50% sale and I knew that this was my opportunity to get these pins because I had been wearing them for so long. Next we have Prince Charming from Cinderella. Out of all the pins, I think he looks like the oldest. <laughs> I don't know why they just didn't really, his face didn't come across like it did in the film. For some reason so i think this is the furthest departure outside of prince florian love his signature dressing here on his outfit the frames are pretty much identical with the filigree and like i said this bullet border here but the stained glass behind him is this wonderful green we have elements of blues and the reds and the greens so nice and you know he is one of the OGs so he had to get his dues and of course the series was centralized around the couples unfortunately we did not get some other standout leading men here's the back on this one next we have the crowd favorite which is Prince Philip just like Prince Florian his he does have a feather and it's even more extended because the size of his hat is so long he has his gloves there and his signature outfit here. I love the detail along the front here. So the red is so pretty. Again, his face is somewhat similar to what he looks like in the film. Beautiful finish on these pins. He has such uh, that jawline, my goodness. <laughs> Just so great. Now look at him. Oh, see his pose is very prominent here. Next is the one that I got originally before the whole set. This is the first one I picked up was Prince Eric. He is so bae. He is so dreamy. And this is the one that, you know, if you are a millennial, he probably was your first crush. <laughs> the dark black of his hair with his beautiful blue eyes and his kind smile. And he's in his wedding attire, which was a choice. He has a yellow stained glass background for him. Again, the similar details with the filigree and this beaded border here. He has the green here. I think the color choices were spot on. I don't think I would change anything. Here he is here. The epitome of a crush. <laughs> Next we have is Prince Adam. Now, it's, this is good because he doesn't really get a lot of pins featuring him. So this was nice to see a pin with Beast in his human form. This one has great detail. I love the jewel here and his ascot. And you can tell it's a signature Beast jacket. And his eyes look great. Nice strong jawline. And his hair is that nice brown. Which is the color match to the Beast's fur, which is awesome has a blue stained glass behind him. Again, similar details with the filigree, with the beaded border. This is what the back of him looks like. Next, we have the first non-royal, and that is Aladdin. And 
they chose to put him in his, you know, quote unquote street rat outfit. It was a choice. I think they had put him in a more royal outfit. This set would have been a little bit more cohesive in that sense. And not to be rude, but his eyes look a little wonky. <laughs> but Aladdin was Bay as well. I mean, again, a millennial was also a crush to be had. <laughs> I enjoy Aladdin so much. I love the movie. This is the back of his. Then we have John Smith here, which I think was very controversial yet brave of them to do and to include him because if we're going to put Pocahontas in this beautiful, fantastic, like obviously fairy tale nature and respect her for what that is, we should also do the same for John Smith, even though he is not representative of the history. Nothing about that movie is extremely factually accurate. However, it's the messaging and that's why it's my favorite and why Pocahontas remains to be my favorite. And this pin will not be included in my Pocahontas collection. He will remain in my Disney Princess collection, which is why I got this timeline in the first place so I can have a distinction because I do want to have a nice solid Disney Prince collection. It doesn't really look like the character at least they cut his hair. <laughs> That's what they look like in the back. Next we have Captain Li Shang. And Li Shang, ah, uh, Li Shang was Bay as well. You cannot hear someone say, let's get down to business without bursting out into that song. <laughs> he is just so handsome. And I love that they included him. And there's not enough Li Shang merch out there. So I'm really glad he has paid his due here. He does look really close to this character in the film, so I do appreciate that. I love the red behind him. Again, the border is gorgeous. This is what it looks like in the back. If you had been taking a break from having crushes on Disney princes, <laughs> in comes waltzing Prince Naveen and changes all that. <laughs> Prince Naveen is so bae and he has such a great personality. And uh, he's just so full of life and he has well intentions, you know, may not be the best methods, but what a wonderful story arc, you know, to introduce that film. Princess Tiana is one of my top princesses and I just love Prince Naveen as well. The smile, he is so stinking handsome. My gosh, I'm glad they kept the green motif here. And I just love his outfit. Look at how beautiful that is. Uh, this is his, the back of his pin. And last but certainly not least, we have the Smolder himself. <laughs> Flynn Rider. Oh my gosh. Yes, people do have a crush on Flynn Rider as well. Zachary Levi does an amazing job and he did sing his part, which was fantastic. That confident smirk. My goodness. So nice. And I, I just love his outfit as well. The color choices for him is beautiful. It's very reminiscent of Rapunzel, incorporating that purple there, which is really nice. So, his hair looks amazing. <laughs> and the first Disney prince, I believe, with facial hair. So, again, not original prince. He had to be married into royalty. And we have this here. This back. Very nice. So this is them all together. As you can see, I am over the moon. Because <laughs> this is a board of gorgeousness my gosh yes i am so happy of course yes next to their own princess they this would have been an uber beautiful set all together however i was really only interested in collecting these fine gents and ah what a wonderful kickoff to my disney prince collection and just so look at this amazing 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 there's 10 in total and uh just so gorgeous sorry for the glare but I just think they look amazing next to each other what a wonderful investment I think for 50% off oh I could not pass this up thank you so much for joining me did you collect these pins are we pin twins on any of these please let me know down below if I had to pick a favorite honestly it's just still gonna have to be Bay Prince Eric because this was the first one I got independent of all of them so he definitely made an impression please continue to like comment and subscribe and with that please be safe tell someone that you love them because tomorrow is never promised and i'll see y'all next time bye uh -huh.